ChatGPT has had a lot of press over the last few months, and regardless of what you think about it, it is an incredibly powerful tool for creatives. In this video, I'm gonna show you five ways you can utilize ChatGPT for video production. Okay, we're logged into chat GPT and we're gonna use five scenarios here that you might use this as a video producer. There's different scenarios I'm gonna walk you through. And the first one has to do with YouTube titling. So I'm just gonna write, um, I have already written out my question here, which is create me some catchy titles for my next YouTube video about how people can use chat GPT to enhance their video production. So I'm just gonna enter that into the chat and let's see what we get. Number one. Revolutionize your video production with chat GPT tips and tricks. Maximize your creativity with chat GPT, the future of video production. Look at all these, it's, it's listing, I didn't even tell it how many to do. And here we have 10, 10 options right in front of you. I like number seven, make your video stand out with chat GPT. So right there, um, you can use chat GPT for uh, examples of YouTube titles that you could do that are catchy and it's, it's using the system learning what it knows about YouTube and YouTube titles and throwing that into its um, into its answer here. So you can utilize it for YouTube titles and I'm gonna start actually doing that to, to just get a, a start, a launch port for my YouTube catchy titles that I want to incorporate into my video production. Okay, the second way that you can use this is for shot planning. So I'm gonna have it, um, I'm gonna say, create me a shot list for a wedding film. And I shoot a lot of wedding films, so this is something that's very familiar to me, but if you haven't shot wedding films, it might be something that's new to you and, and you would like just a basic shot list. So I'm gonna see what it does here. Create me a shot list for a wedding film. Here we go, so it's, it's listing out. Pre preparation shots for the bride and groom, getting ready, including details such as the dress, shoes, and jewelry. That's super good, you need this for every wedding. Let's see what else. Shots of the wedding party, family members arriving at the ceremony. Close-up shots of the bride and groom's faces as they see each other for the first time. So that first look moment that we always capture at weddings. Wide shots of the ceremony, close shots of the ceremony. Time lapse of the reception decorations being taken down. That's incredible. I've never actually stayed that long for a wedding for the, to be there to record reception decorations being taken down, but that's an interesting idea. Um, you could also do it just a final shot of the bride and groom walking away into the sunset. That's, that's, that's a fun idea. So there you go. You can use this for some shot planning ideas for how to shoot a wedding film. Okay, the third way that you can use this is for animation or for coding. So I use After Effects for a lot of my animation work and in After Effects, you can use what's called the expression editor where basically you can type in code in After Effects and then those codes generate different systems or processes that or actions to be performed by the software. So you don't have to manually go in and set keyframes for things. That action will just be repeatable by um, whatever code you entered in the expression editor. So with this, um, I'm just gonna paste in a question here, which is I'm asking it to generate a code in After Effects that will cycle in opacity, which is like the transparency, on and off from 0% to 100% every 24 frames. So if you were doing 24 frames a second, that would be every one second, it's gonna go from zero to 100%. And then I also want this effect to loop continuously for infinity. So as long as I want my composition to be, I want this to just continue looping every one second, going from on to off, on to off. Um, so I'm gonna put this in and watch what it does here. Here's an example code you can use in After Effects. And then it's gonna generate this code for me. So it's gonna say, create a new opacity keyframe at the start of the composition. And then it's, it's literally gonna give you this code. And then in this expression, you can, you can tell it what to do here. So this code creates a new opacity keyframe for the layer you specify at the start time of the composition and sets the initial value to zero. Then it creates another keyframe 24 frames later and set that value to 100. Then it will loop the keyframes infinitely with the loop out expression and the cycle option you create, uh, this will create your desired effect. This is crazy. It says, please note that you will need to have a layer selected in your timeline cursor to the start of the composition to run this code. Fascinated. So here you go. Here's an example of, if you don't know the code, you, you know what the effect you're going for in After Effects, but you don't know how to create the code. ChatGPT can search the internet really quickly, all videos and, and forms out there on Adobe and consolidate that information for you right away. So then you can take this, go into your expression editor, paste this in there, and then there you go. You got your, your code. You got your cyclical um, opacity value shifting from zero to 100. Okay, number four is uh, you can use ChatGPT to 
prep yourself for meetings or client meetings. So I have a pretty specific um, scenario here I'm gonna give it. So it says, give me eight questions I can ask my real estate client in a pre-production meeting. I need to gather information about who they are, what kinds of videos they are looking for my company to create for them, and then information about their budget. So I'm gonna just ask it to do that. Here we go. Number one, can you tell me a bit about your company and what you do? Two, what specific type of real estate properties do you specialize in? Three, are you looking for videos to showcase specific properties or to promote your brand in general? Four, have you created any videos before? Can you share some examples of videos you liked and why? Five, what is the main message or emotion you want to convey through these videos? It's even uh, catering to like the emotional appeal of our audience members. It's, it somehow knows to do that. Six is who is your target audience? That's a great question. I ask that question at every pre-production meeting. So that's, I figured out how to put that in there. Seven, do you have a specific timeline in mind for you would like these videos to be completed? That's a huge, when do you need these deliverables by? That's a great question to ask. And eight is what is your budget for these videos? And are there any specific cost constraints we should be aware of? So I had a part two that I wanted to, to ask to this question. So I'm gonna say, hey, also, can you find a creative way to ask them if they would like to hire us for future services? But I don't want this to be too on the nose. I don't want it to just be like, hey, do you wanna hire us for later? So let's see if it can come up with a creative way to ask this question. Okay, this is what it says. We're thrilled to have the opportunity to work with you on this project and we're committed to delivering the best possible results. As we begin this partnership, I was wondering if you had any upcoming projects or campaigns in the pipeline that we could potentially help you with to continue to elevate your brand and achieve your goals. That's a pretty creative way to ask that question. So as you can see, it's a great starting point. I would probably adjust a few of these eight scenarios they gave me, tweak a few things here and there. But if you just needed a list of 10 questions to get you going, this would be a great way to, to ask ChatGPT, can you create me a list of questions? And there you go, you have a, a pretty solid group of questions to just ask your client for a client meeting. Okay, fifth and finally is you could use ChatGPT for research and planning. So um, I have a prompt here that I threw in. Uh, I want to make a documentary about uh, solar panels. So what are some films or TV shows I could watch for research and inspiration? I don't actually wanna make a documentary about solar panels. So if you wanna take that idea, feel free. Here's some ideas for you. Let's see what it says. Um, number one, An Inconvenient Truth, 2006 documentary film inspires uh, about the dangers of global warming. Two is Planet of the Humans. Three is The Great Green Wall. A Road Not Taken. Um, so a lot about like self-sufficient renewable energy. So these are all things, I mean, yeah, that you could watch for research and inspiration. The Switch. I mean, it's given me a huge list here. I didn't even tell it how many to do. We're at eight, the new fire documentary about the next generation of nuclear scientists. And then it says at the end, these are some example films and TVs that shows, uh, that might provide you with inspiration and information for your documentary about solar panels. Okay, so there's five ways that you could utilize ChatGPT for video production. Um, I know there's a variety of opinions out there about whether or not this should be used in our everyday life. Is this technology too powerful? I don't have answers to those questions. Um, I just was doing some research and as I did the research, I realized that it actually produced some pretty good results. So if this is something you're interested in, feel free, log on to ChatGPT, create a, an account, and you can ask this AI software a lot of really um, interesting questions and you'll get some interesting responses back. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already as we talk about a ton of video production tips and tricks on this channel. So thanks so much, much love. Talk to you guys soon.